Hey guys and welcome to another Guild War. Today we got Prestige again. So I think I'll hit people that I didn't hit last time. So that we don't double up, right? So let's see. I already hit Titus Robot last time, I believe. So I'm just gonna leave him. Even though he's I think he's the only green tower left, but I think we can let leave someone to to, to handle him. Um, alright, let's, let's uh, have a look here. Okay, this this first team looks interesting because I think Orion's going to move first, which is not good for him, right? Because if, if it's synced that way, because typically Orion's are built pretty fast, right? Unless they build it on violent. And if Orion moves first, then... And you bring like, and the opponents have will shield, right? Then he he can he can get cock blocked by that. But if Chiwa moves first, then you know, and then Orion moves, that would be like a lot more devastating because then there'll be no buffs, like you know, no will runes, no shield runes, and then the the uh, you know, debuff the debuffs can you know he can stun something, right? Now I'm still gonna use this. And I'm gonna hope that that Orion moves first, because I still have Will Shield on on my units. <clears throat> so I think it should still be okay, because I the only thing I care about is the armor break. I don't want the armor break to go onto uh, either of my fire guys. Now this other team, um, so typically against Fuel Mars and a speed buffer I'll just I'll bring my fuel Mars and um, and two revivers right. I, I basically I go for like a safer sort of fuel Mars team because I'm basically conceding that his Bernard is well, I'm assuming his Bernard is not gonna be retarded and he's going to buff first and then fuel Mars will go and since I have triple will there's no strippers on this team. Even if he does his, his triple crush, I won't get defense broken, and I should sort of like outlast him, right? So the only the only danger is if he violent procs. But if he does violent proc, I pop endure. Hopefully, I can pop his endure back in return. And then if he pops, if he kills my kills my field mines after that, then I just revive and just try to outlast after that. But we'll see how like how, how the turn order goes on that on both of these actually. So we'll see. Okay, so the Orion Orion did move first and now he just got wrecked by shield runes because Yeah. And I don't mind if he's removing the buffs because Sierra's still gonna go for go for my chroma there. And I'll buff for extra immunity since the right can still armor break with his second skill. Okay, so I was gonna kill the only threat, which is Sierra. The chrome is taking uh, a lot more damage than I thought she would. That was a good violent proc. Alright, there we go. I think I was sh like, she should have still survived anyway, but I mean, it's just a good just in case. I still don't want her to die because she's very useful, as you can see. I use her a fair bit against Sierra comps. I think this team would have been a lot scarier if the Orion was on violent and like you know if the Chiwu was faster. Okay, so the the Bernard derped, which I mean it's not great for me, but it's still fine. Um So I'm gonna hope that my better is faster than his fuel mars, so then I can buff anti crit. Alright, that's good. I didn't pop his endure, but 
Because he looks like he's fairly tanky, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, just a little bit more. I can, I can pop it now, and then Fallen Blossom's coming, which is okay. Then I'll just have to outlast that. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. Jeez, did he just double crit me even with anti crit buff? That's okay. That, it's still outlasting. Oh, good Violent Proc. Uh, yeah, I'll just heal. Heal. So even if he died, I can still revive. And as long as I can kill this Filmars, yeah, I can take all the time in the world and just let my cooldowns come back up and revive again. Obviously, not, obviously not everyone has double revive like this. But if you have something like Eladio and another decent reviver that has you know heals or something, then that that would work too. Or just some other support skill. Oh, he's oh so close to being popped. Jesus Christ. So they popped up Bernard so there's no more Fallen Blossom bullshit. Oh, no. They're just wasting my time, that's that's the only annoying thing. <sighs> Again. Filmar's the only armor breaker as well, so it looks like the Bernard's pretty fast, so he's um, he's able to remove re remove the armor break just from turns, unless I can get a violent proc again. Nope. That's so annoying. I think he's gonna move. Oh, not quite. If this doesn't kill him, I'm just going to switch to the chest soon because she won't remove the armor break as quickly. Okay, good. I should be able to kill him with this. Alright, I can just order this chest soon now. Okay. All right, let's move on. Let's get a plus two. Uh, who we have? Right, this one looks like he's like more yellow than the other one. Uh, Sierra and fuel mines. That's a bit annoying. So the first team, I can just do this and kill the Zyros, turn one. Second team though, I don't really have a good way to deal with Sierra Fiumas, because like this this team is not particular this uh Okurama team is not particularly good against like Fiumas, right? Because because Kuma is not gonna do much damage to the Fiumas. This is not so easy. Maybe I just have to use. Okay, well, for starters, I think I still need to use Fuel Mars. I kind of want a. 
shield set somewhere. Let's say, let me Chloe. And another will unit. Um, let's go with this, maybe. There's triple will, there's shield. And there's fanatic to protect, uh, protect them after that. I have armor break so I can snipe the Sierra first, I think. Alright, let's try this. I don't think it's that reliable, but I'm gonna test the waters. Because I find Sierra, Fio, or Ryan, it's, just, it's a quite a strong defense. I find it very hard to kill. Well, I don't have a good counter to it that I've seen yet. So let's test some stuff out, maybe. Oh my god, triple stun! I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna lose, but that's that's really annoying. Oh, not quite. Oh shit, he got the Chloe. Oh shit. Oh my god, the violent as well. Oh, luckily she derped. Or oh, she didn't go for the armor broken target. Uh, well, even if Chloe dies, it's not such a bad thing. I think. Oh, actually, it depends what I'm using for the, the other guys. <laughs> um, she. Chloe's gonna. Chloe's dead. That's unfortunate. Just gonna pop this. Right, so now I get the violent box. It would have been nice if I had the violent box earlier. Then I could have mobilized. And I think my Chloe might have lived if that, if I, if that happened. Because then I might have been at the fanatic. I think, oh, that's good violent procs, but I think Bella's dead. Oh, not quite. We okay. can save Bella, maybe. Ah, losing Chloe is a bit unfortunate, but at least it got through that. A bit unlucky, because he obviously removed the immunity from the Chloe. Alright, let's go for the... The yellow plus three. <sighs> See, they would, Chloe would have been useful for for this because then I could have I could have copied the second team. Now I'm not so sure. I think we'll have to try something like this to. It just basically outlasts it, kind of. I'm just going to have to keep popping the... Oh, I have to try to pop the... I don't know. I think what I'll try to do is keep bashing on that fuel mass. So that so they both both him and the Hodan will go down. Because right, it's going to be really annoying to try to kill the Hodan. Right, he's probably going to have high resist. Probably even on will runes. And yeah, a lot of HP and defense probably. So if I keep bashing on the field Mars, he'll he'll keep transferring his HP. Uh, eventually, he'll run out. So I, he'll run out of HP, and soon we're only be able to fallen boss on one of them. Hopefully, she fallen bosses the field Mars, and that way, you know, if Hordam's too low, he can't transfer health anymore. So I think that'll be the plan. And then I use Brian here as like an insurance policy, and also. To bring attack break against um, against that field Mars, and then the first team, I think we go with uh, this Orion and Kuma. Not hundred, I'm not hundred percent sure on this team, but I think it should be okay. Just gotta kill uh, 
probably kill the monkey first. Oh, that he's pretty fast. He's alright. So even though this wind monkey, you know, is bad element, I still hit hit him with the Orion just so that there's less chance of. Um, of him revenging me, right? Because he should be on revenge offset, I think. Because I didn't see will runes. Um, but yeah, his the revenge proc rate is lower than um, than his passive uh, revenge rate, which is twenty five percent. So I think it's always best to go onto onto the uh, wind monkey, unless you know he's got double revenge set, maybe. Uh, I'll just hit the armor broken target, even though he's not. I mean, he's elemental disadvantage. Oh, good crit. Good here. All right, both and will runes, so pretty much just have to outlast this. We'll just keep poking the field Mars. He looks feels quite squishy because he took quite a lot from no armor break, no attack power, first attack. really annoying. That's really annoying too. Okay, if he Vana procs, he's dead. <laughs> uh, that's what you get. Because he, uh, in, in case you were wondering, he had a, he had the two-turn dot on him, right? And if he dies with a dot, he doesn't get healed by Hordan's passive. So I guess that was a convenient way to kill him, even though it's not it's not reliable because it relied on me having a a violent proc. This glancing is really annoying, but just gonna deal with it. Oh my god, every single turn. I trust you doesn't do that. Okay, death by butterfly. And we got him. Oh, that just soon took so much damage. Okay, so that's it for this Guild War, uh, so thanks guys for watching, we'll be, I'll probably be recording again tomorrow hopefully, pending you know, time, because it's going to be free rune removal tomorrow, uh, so we'll have to see then. So until then, have a good one, peace guys.